Good evening and welcome to the 40 meter net. My name is Harold Schofield, Kilo Charlie 9, Hotel, Hotel. I'm going to make a presentation on the Hampshire 4 mobile software for the Android device this evening. You've been to the Google Play Store, found the Hampshire 4.0 mobile application, and downloaded it to your Android device. You've installed it and opened it, and now what do you have in your hands? A handheld mobile 2 meter 70 centimeter virtual radio. You can access all the repeaters on Hampshire 4 virtual radio all over the world, clear as a bell on both bands. Let's take a look at the display on the uh, mobile transceiver. Looking at the LC display, you see what antenna you are using. It defaults to the 2 meter rubber ducky if you're on the 2 meter band. The second line on the display shows receive or transmit mode, VFO module you're using, the FM mode if you're on the trans 2 meter 70 centimeter, and an audio filter selection. It defaults to uh, filter 1, which is 2.8K. You can select 2.8K, 2.4K, or 1.8K using the selector buttons located below the busy indicator. In large numbers, the frequency you're using is displayed. If you touch uh, this uh, LCD display, it will momentarily freeze the frequency. Below the number is a dual function bar graph showing signal strength in receive mode and power level in transmit mode. The 10 digit keyboard can be used to key in frequency changes or you can use the up down button to increase or decrease the channel in use. The, but the band button switches you between 2 meter and 70 centimeter operation of the transceiver. The power button turns off the device or on the device. On the bottom of the transceiver is a hidden space bar to the left and right of the microphone push to talk switch. By sliding your finger from the top to the bottom of the microphone switch when it's lit, you can lock on the PTT. Tapping the microphone button when it is locked on will release the locked PTT. When using the Hampshire 4.0 mobile transceiver in the 2 meter 70 centimeter mode, there are four hidden functions available to the operator. Using the pound key with the 1, 2, 3, or 4 keypad buttons will enable these functions. If you press the pound key, it will turn color, indicating you are enabling the hidden function mode. With the pound key lit, press the one key and a rectangular window will pop up showing you all of the channels available in the 2 meter 70 centimeter mode. The next time an operator keys his mic on a channel, his call sign will appear next to the channel and frequency he is using. Pressing the lighted pound key will turn this function off. Pressing the pound key once again will enable the hidden function mode once again. With the pound key lit, pressing the 2 button on the keypad will cause a window to pop up with two slider controls. One control for transmit power and another control for microphone gain. Pressing the lighted pound key will close this window. Pressing the pound key once again enables the hidden mode. With the pound key lit, pressing the 3 on the keypad will cause a window to pop up, listing the call sign, frequency, and location of all Hampshire 4 repeaters. Pressing the lit pound key will turn this function off. And finally, pressing the pound key once again enables the hidden function mode. With the pound key lit, 
pressing the 4 on the keypad will enable a scan frequency mode. With the 4 key lit, you can use the up or down button to cause the transceiver to scan the channels up frequency or down frequency. When activity on a channel is detected, the scan will stop automatically on that channel. You can use the band key to choose which band you want to scan, 2 meter or 70 centimeter. You press the key, pound key when the 4 key is lit to exit this function. Tapping the hidden spacebar to the right of the microphone button will take you to the next mode of the transceiver, the HF mode. The HF mode gives you access to 10 meters 11 meters, 12 meters, 15 meters, 17 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, 60 meters, 80, and 160 meters receive and transmit with a power of up to 50 watts. You can also listen to the BC band, but you cannot transmit on the BC band. There are three modes available on uh, the HF transceiver. Upper sideband, lower sideband, and CW. You have the same three audio filters that were available in the VHF UHF band. The LCD display is similar. The 10 keypad is changed into a VFO control knob, which you can use to fine tune your operating frequency. You also have available up, down, single step buttons to change operating frequency. This is the default module for the HF transceiver. Touching the hidden space bar to the right of the microphone button will take you to the waterfall module where you can see a pan view of stations you can hear with your current antenna selection. As it scrolls slowly down, the waterfall, you get kind of a memory of the signal and you can get quickly determined where there is activity on the band. Also very faint signals that you would have problems hearing also give you a print. You can change frequency on the waterfall three ways. You can touch the waterfall to put the frequency where you touch. You can swipe on the waterfall to move the frequency rapidly up or down. You can swipe on the band scope area to move the frequency slowly up and down for fine adjustments. Touching the space bar again will take you to the next module, your logbook. To get credit for mobile contacts, you must use the Mobile 4 log module to exchange QSO cards. The system uh, automatically will uh, attach a flag that indicates that the contact and exchange was made on the Hampshire 4 mobile software. Once again, touching the space bar will take you to the antenna selection module. Here you can see antennas for the band you're on, antennas for all bands, or antennas for that you own. Type and specification for antennas are spelled out in the mobile shop. Touching the spacebar again will take you to the antenna rotator module. Function and display is similar to Hamsphere 4 module. The plus minus buttons are used to rotate your antenna's rotor. A little known trick is to select a rotatable antenna to the heading you want to use. Then you can switch to a non-rotatable antenna and it will be set to the selected heading. Touching the spacebar once again will take you to the O-scope module where you can monitor audio quality real, real time. Using the hidden spacebar you can Step to the next module, DX Monitor. This is similar to DX Monitor plug-in on H4. Touching the hidden spacebar, you can step to the plug-in organizer. There you can modify the sequence in which 
Using the hidden spacebar, we'll step through the plugins. The, pla the last plugin available today is DX Cluster. Several other modules are under development and will be released when fully certified by the tester group. The functionality of the mobile rig is good. I find it hard to use the logbook module on small, my two small Android devices, a Samsung 3 cell phone or a 7-inch Asus tablet. I just make a list of the contacts and update my log on my PC when I get home. I have not used the device except in uh, Wi-Fi mode so I have little feedback on cellular time and data usage. A last minute addition to the uh, Hamsphere 4 mobile software uh, modules is the lookup module. You uh, input the uh, call sign, like for example, 9 Hotel Sugar 4755, press lookup, and uh, the window will populate with call sign, name, country, ISO2, QTH, latitude, longitude, grid, distance from your station, and the azimuth you need to use with your uh, directional antenna. This will be a fine addition to the uh, Hampshire mobile software. And Kelly has uh, finalized the uh, logbook uh, tally sheet, and uh, it's available on uh, Hampshire mobile for Facebook web page for the link. This was a review of the Hampshire 4 mobile 4 software to introduce you to the possibilities with your Android devices. Thank you for being part of the 40 meter net this evening and I'll entertain any questions. Mm -hmm.